So today on my video blog, we've got the Maximus 3 formula. So this is ASUS's premium P55 LGA 1156 board. You can see from the logos on the front, it supports NVIDIA SLI and ATI Crossfire X technology. So this is a Republic of Gamers board, which means you've got all of ASUS's high-end features. So you've got a black, red, and white color scheme for the board. We're gonna get that out in a minute here. But let's talk about a couple of the basic features that uh, you will find on it. So it also features something that's new for their P55 boards, their MemOK technology, which basically allows you to press a button and make sure that your motherboard is gonna select the most compatible possible settings for your memory to ensure that you can post even with more exotic RAM. So that's kind of a cool feature. Well, let's take out the matte black box here that has all of the accessories, and there are a lot of accessories. So here we've got Q-Connect, which allows you to plug in all your individual little pins and then plug into the board as an entire brick. Then we've got uh, what appears to be an SLI bridge. That's a very short SLI bridge, actually. Um, the spacing must be a little bit on the different side. Here's some zip ties. Then we've got the user guide, including... Oh, this is, this is interesting. So there's your, your drivers and um, your driver DVD. And then here... So this is for labeling all of your SATA connectors. I've actually never seen this included in, in a motherboard box before. So you can label all of the, the SATA connectors that go to all of your different drives. That's, that's very unique. That's uh, very helpful for managing your cables. And this is a stick. Oh, this is a Republic of Gamers sticker for the side of your, of your case. That's very cool as well. Here we have a USB cable. Mm -hmm. And then we have the I.O. shield, right there. Then we've got a whole lot of SATA cables. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six SATA cables. And then on the back panel, we've got uh, two USB and one E-SATA um, I.O. plate. Then last but not least, we've got the Supreme FX uh, X5 PCIe 1X audio board. So that'll install in the top slot. So we're all done with the accessories, so let's get into the board itself here. Ah. As I mentioned before, this is a premium board from ASUS, so it will have almost all, if not all, of the high-end bells and whistles sorts of features. So let's get it uh, kind of in a more comfortable place here so we can have a look at it here. All right, so let's start with the basic layout. Here's our two PCIe 16X slots. So like almost all P55 boards, they're gonna run at 8X, 8X if you're running SLI or Crossfire. So you can see you've actually got another PCIe 16X slot. That one will run at 4X. Now in terms of SATA ports, you've got a ton of SATA ports on this board. You've got two here that are labeled for optical drives. You've got two here that are labeled for um, hard drives. And then you've got another six. These are the ones you're gonna wanna use first because these are the ones coming off the actual chipset of the board, the Intel chipset. So those can be used for anything. Then for power connectors, we've got the power connectors in their usual locations with the 24 pin on the right and then the eight pin over at the top left. Now, in terms of the power design for the CPU, you can see you can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, this is probably a 16 plus 3 phase power design based on checking out how many phases there are. So the three phases are actually for the uncore of the CPU. Now, one thing I noticed right away about this board is that all of the fan headers... Oh, and the cameraman's having a look at the, uh, at the cool glowing logo on the North Bridge. That's pretty sweet, actually. I really like the, uh, the, the fashionable sort of color choices they've gone with for this board. It's a uh, far cry better than what we've seen in the past from everyone, actually. But what you can see here, this is kind of a high-end feature, is that you've got all four-pin PWM-ready fan headers. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them on this board all over the place. That's a really cool thing to see. Like all P55 boards, you've got support for dual-channel DDR3 memory. And let's have a look at what's available on the back. So, here we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine USB ports, one PS2 keyboard port, a CMOS reset button, then we've got Firewire, eSATA, one gigabit Ethernet port, and then we have the ASUS... Uh, what is this thing even called, actually? It's called ROG Connect. So you've got a port for that feature as well. This button will turn that on. So anyway, thank you for checking out my blog on the Maximus 3 formula.